This is part three of watercolors, portraits, stencil style. You should already have your image transferred onto your paper and pencil. If you don't know how to do that, go watch our tutorial, How to Transfer an Image onto Paper. You also don't have to use a portrait. You can use any image. You can use a simple stencil you bought at the store or one you found online somewhere. So don't feel kind of locked into a portrait box here. You need watercolors, some paintbrushes, water, paper towel, and your paper. Um, you can use three brushes, a flat brush, a small brush for details. The flat brush is just for large areas you're trying to fill in with color. Um, this would be for medium areas you're trying to fill in, and then a small brush for tiny little details. You can also just use whatever brush you have. I mean, it can work, right? Just the brushes that come with the sets are fine. Okay, I always recommend having the image next to it while you're painting. Just think you're painting it in the dark and you're not doing anything with the light shapes. And if you get confused, just look at your image. And with washes, I've had students use completely black, completely blue, completely purple. Um, fading into colors. I like to teach a wet and wet wash um, with this project. So for a wet and wet wash I just like to mix up enough in my tray that I can cover a pretty large area with it. So that means I'm trying to make a big puddle of water in here. I'm gonna move this but remember keep this as a resource. wet so I can grab it and drop it into my wet and wet wash. So I'm just dipping my brush in water. My water is a little green but I'm dipping my brush in the water and I am just going to paint with water over the shapes that I'm going to be adding color into. Now this isn't great watercolor paper I'm using. That means the water is going to dry pretty quick so I better hurry and drop some. You just want to avoid, with all watercolor paintings, scrubbing it. Um, that means going back and forth with your brush like that. And see, I kind of went over there with my brush, but it's okay. I'll still... few more details after you finish the painting make some areas darker here's a good example of doing that just might make things pop out a little more I hope you enjoyed this tutorial there's a lot of steps but it's worth it I've seen a five-year-old child do this so you can do it too have a great day mm -hmm.